Hey guys, what's up? I hope all of you doing well. Um, today I got a repair job to do. I think for most of repair people it's an easy job. For me it's first time. Um, you can see there is a motherboard or a circuit board in front of me. Let me explain quickly what is this. This is a logic board of a TV. I think they call it a logic board. Uh, this is a telephone Telefunken TV, 32 inch. Now, the problem on this TV is there is no picture. Unfortunately, I cannot show you guys the full TV because my workspace is very small. So. I did check that there was no picture actually it's not no picture um, picture comes on on the screen if you go very close or you light any type of light on the screen then you see the is picture so means there is no backlight um, that's why the screen stay dark so I open the TV on top of my freezer <laughs> it's a grocery shop so I have a long uh, deep freezer freezer you can say on top of it I disassemble the TV I took the board out and currently the TV's screen is also out uh, let me tell you this the, the true story I did check diagnosed this TV what is the problem so I find the problem and I will I didn't I couldn't make the video on there where I was diagnosing the TV diagnosing yeah I was I was checking the TV so um, now I'm making this video what I went through how I went through to find the problem and to figure a way out to fix the TV right first things what I did it was clear to me that the power was coming on so I didn't had problem realizing that the board is having power or board doesn't have any power issue you see Okay, my child was here, my son was here <laughs> to pause the video. Right. Now, the board definitely comes on, so there is no problem of powering it up. Um, what I checked, what I learned from YouTube, I went through a few of the videos. Um, this is a common circuit board for a lot of Chinese TV, a cheaper models TV they use similar types of board and all those boards have nearly same structure of the electronic components um, on this board the backlight is backlight power is coming from this connector here and this connector here because it's a 32 inch TV uh, this TV only using one connector because on the on the backlight circuit there is only one connector i will show you in a, in a uh, very soon when i bring that backlight section there is three strips of backlight on this tv uh, i think because of its size that was enough for the tv to have three backlight strips some tv what i saw in my experience uh, they have six strips or four strips the more bigger it is the more LED strips they need anyway let's go through the process I did to find the problem I'm going to first power the give power to the board I hope nothing blows up and then I will show you guys this board doesn't really have a problem okay when a TV 
is on standby mode currently this tv or this board is on standby mode look i even have the the power switches or standby switches with me i had to take it off from the chassis of the tv um when you put power on to any tv on the backlight circuit or the backlight power output there should be a certain amount of voltage it, it varies accordingly different tvs so some tv might have 30 volt standby voltage on there and some might have 25 some might have 30 so different make different voltage all i understand on that let me zoom it little bit You can still see the micro uh, my meter right now please guys if some of you are new to this stuff remember one thing currently this circuit board is connected to 220 volt the main power so this section of the board is hot this section this is the power uh, power circuit I think they call it from here the 220 volt is coming through this going into the board from there is stepping down to 12 volt and 55 volt and other voltage that the TV needs it to function properly now anyway let's get into the main point now this connector should have a fixed amount of voltage which is lower than what is the operating voltage when the tv is on that voltage will push up or boost up depends on the backlight circuitry means on the backlight some backlight can take 73 volt some backlight can take 63 volt uh, anyway let's 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 see camera now is all of a sudden this side is it focusing I mean shifting itself see it's doing his own thing <laughs> anyway uh, never mind let's check look at the multimeter I'm going to put this is the plus side oopsie sorry that's a boo-boo I make my my probe went into can you guys see 25.65 volt when it is on standby now i don't know how i can manage i'm actually a little bit afraid to work with 220 volt because this side is open if i touch i will get electric shock right um Hold on, I have to pause the video. There is a customer coming. Right. Someone just came bought a cold, cold drink. Okay, let's see how can we do it. I'm going to use one of my hand to press this standby. And other hand I can try to... see Let me bring about this side a little bit Maybe. like this will work now look there 25 25.65 volt so this is on standby when I press the standby or the power on button I believe then it changes the TV is starting on it goes to 78 volt and then it comes down to it came down to 28 you guys saw it was up to 78 volt 
Now, on my research on the internet, what I understand from YouTube videos for other repair guys, let me switch off, power off, that this is what this board can provide to a backlight panel. I think max. It can provide 78 volt max. I think this is also this also can provide 78 volt max so if you have a bigger TV and you need more say two different sets of LED strips then 78 here max 78 here max it can give power to those two uh, sets of backlight or backlits um, but on this TV it's I don't think it's going to use 78 volt because when I checked those back lead um, it's three strip each strip has seven backlits so altogether is 21 backlits and when I was testing them it was operating on 2.5 volt so 21 times 2.5 volt this should provide about 50 to 55 volt to this TV's LED strips so it's, it's something that I still have to learn how a TV's backlight or backlit circuit works how does it um, regulate the voltage how does it goes up and down I, it's still for me it's a new thing I still don't know I have no idea how they work now clearly to me by the time i realized that voltage behavior on this um, connector is normal then i understand this that this board is working so prior to this diagnostic when i realized that this one's voltage output is not acting weirdly it is acting the way it is supposed to um, I still have to learn about to understand understand how this works you see which is this chip does what is this diode does this I still have to get into this I have very small knowledge about repairing TV but I couldn't learn before because I did not have courage and slowly my courage is growing up and I am trying to learn right enough of chit chat let me now show you guys the real problem this circuit this this logic board is all good in my uh, knowledge what I understand this is no problem with this board so I'm going to keep this board aside and then I will show you what caused this TV to stay black or dark or no picture I'm going to move it aside the circuit board I'll be back in a moment let me just put bring the the backlight panel okay now this is the <clears throat> backboard of the TV itself where the backlight and yeah basically it only house the back backlights um, you can see one two three strips of backlights now I have a fun device which I haven't done a review yet I think I will do a review on this device in in future okay this is a backlight or backlit tester for TV um, I don't know if you guys LED LED lamp and backlight strip tester uh, this small device can provide 300 volt of electricity up to 300 volt um, and it's very intelligent if I touch I'm not gonna touch but if I touch there 
they it stated no electric shock uh, means basically it's very intelligent it sense it will only provide electricity when it sense that it need to provide so it's not gonna push electricity out if it doesn't sense a LED that I'm trying to test very very fun device anyway now let's go through the process <clears throat> what this machine does on the strip each strip has its own connector one two three now how this works the all the TVs backlights system or the strips they are connected to each other in serial mode not parallel mode means the electricity is coming from one end going out to other L one by one led like this is say it's starting from here then going to the next one to this now remember it's in serial mode means if one led is blown all the led is not gonna function because it's not in parallel mode it's in serial mode so for this to work all those leds have to work one is dead means all of them are dead because the circuit will not complete anyway let's check the first uh, the first led strips and now i put this panel in a wrong way so the, the connection is this way let me turn it around let me test the first one okay the black probe is minus right on this connector you put red onto the plus black onto the minus look at all those leds all of them are lit and they're bright and look at the multi uh, the the backlit tester it's pulling 19.2 volt so there are one two three four five six seven divide 19.2 2.75 volt it's each uh, LED is pulling now there is a catch guys remember this LEDs um, or the LED strips those LED that they use on the LED strip they are they you can get it get them in 3 volt LEDs and then you get them in 5 volt LEDs so it differ not all the TV is using the 3 volt LEDs or 5 volt. Different TV, different voltage of LEDs they use. So the most common is that I know what I heard or I, yeah, someone told me that 5 volt and 3 volt are the common LEDs on the LED strips for TVs. Let's check this one, the bottom one. All of them are shining you can't see the last one but it's also lit 19.2 volt is pulling now the middle one the problematic one look there none of them are working can you guys see nothing no light is on all the lights are off and the meter is also showing the tester is also showing there is no uh, voltage is coming 300 volt it's it's it's, it's just showing uh, there's nothing that this machine is providing because the circuit is not closed it's open somewhere so what i did i did the next stage um let me explain in in short to you guys you see this led comes with a plastic cover this is a plastic cover now if you take a, a spazer 
something thin sparser and let's say this is a sparser and you put it underneath you can see it goes I don't know you can see if you press it like this they come off if you pry it off then this plastic shield comes off uh, I think this is something like a lens to make the LED gets more bright so this is like a cover take this cover out I took all of those covers out from the LEDs on this strip and after that I check individually one by one so yeah, let's let's check first this one look there 2.5 volts and my LED is on next one 2.5 volt LED is on Two point five volts or four volts LED is on. Two point five volt LED is on. Two point five volt LED is on. No voltage output LED is not on that's the bad guy bad guy number one let's see if the last one is right it's right that one is also right 2.5 volt and LED is on now look <clears throat> if you hold it on this and press anyway on this say no I can't show you guys from there but look at here if I press it here nothing comes on but if I press it here all my LEDs comes on all of them can you guys see all of them comes on so when I put the power here nothing comes on so basically from here the circuit broke or because of this blown LED um, even if I put it here nothing because the circuit is broken here so now there is two way to fix this um, backlight problem the one number one way is quite expensive um, I checked online I can get the strips three of them in a pack for 32 inch it's gonna cost me from take a lot um, around 600 to 700 there is cheaper option for 500 something uh, but uh, the good ratings one is about six seven hundred somewhere there or more so let's say if the strip costing me 700 rand, then i still have to put my labor or my uh, money for me so probably it the customer will end up paying about 900 to 1200 okay it's a 32 inch um yeah that's the way number one buy a new leds set strips i think they don't come single they come in in set um, and then replace this old ones now an old friend of mine mr we call him or people call him booty he was very good at repairing tvs so he's an old person um, he taught me uh, the basics how tv works hold on customer is in the shop okay now that's the first option which is gonna cost money it's expensive right 
Um, what I was saying, oh, Mr. Booty. Mr. Booty basically was very friendly. He was very, I didn't, I knew him from a, from seven, eight years, I think. Yeah. But um, I didn't know he was repairing uh, TV and uh, he was, he's quite good. His brain, his, his knowledge on electronics is what I understand on my understanding. He's quite good. He understands the electronics, how they work. Um, knowledgeable person on electronics, how electronics works. So he taught me and then he, he taught me a cheaper way fixing the broken or blown LED strips. <laughs> Some of you guys will tell me, nah, that's shady way or it's not the right way. I cannot agree with that. The reason is this is original LEDs came with the TV and what we buy online from wherever we buy obviously they're not gonna be original one because it's hard to find the original ones it's gonna be copy or pirated or whatever they call it, the aftermarket one so even though probably they come with six months or 12 months warranty and I'm sure normally most of the time that they will broke after the warranty period is finished so spending more money and having this unit works for the time just to get the warranty done and then if it blows again then again you have to repair so the cheaper option and logical option is fix this strip and keep the original strip let it work for another few years and um, that way you spend lesser money but you still keep the original strips which can work longer than the pirated one or the cheaper LED replacement that we get in online. So on this video I'm gonna show you guys how Mr. Booty taught me or what way he taught me to, to fix this broken LED strip. How I, I can I can make this straight with soldering iron or wire. You see, break this LED off, and then there is two points that you can use solder wire to solder them or solder them, like Mr. Louis says in Louis Rossman's channel. Solder them together, and then this whole circuit will work. But now there is a catch. If this LED we make it straight with the solder there is this LED is blown so there is no LED here when you put the TV on on that TV on this section will be darker than the other part of the TV because there is no back lid here so that is not an option for us to just make here a solar use the soldering iron to solder there and then make the the whole circuit straight there so that the LED, rest of the LED can work no it's not gonna be nice to to watch the TV on on that way right now I'm going to record under this camera the, this whole walk I'm not going to talk a lot the theoretical part of the video is done I don't want to make a long video but unfortunately these are technical things if I don't talk and don't explain then it's no use for me making this video and and not explaining it to to you guys what could be the problem why could be the problem what way we can fix it you understand I hope so that's why the video gets long see so anyway let's 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 get into that work hey now simple i'm going to remove this led somehow and then from 
there I am going to take the is plus and minus two connection I will take it out with wire and place a friend of mine is it in my pocket let me show you guys that friend of mine Mr. Booty he gave me a lot of old LEDs or backlit from scrap TVs and stuff uh, which works I think this one works let me quickly check which one do you guys this is the side see it's also pulling 2.4 volt So, I'll use this LED, which came from another old TV. Okay, this is good. And I'm going to connect the east points to solder. Right, I have to grind here because this, I, I know this copper don't want to solder the wire there. So, I'm going to... Um, Put two wires there and connect th that wire here right and then use a double-sided tape like that so the light can stay there and it doesn't move anyway that's the whole idea so this process I'm not going to talk I already explained to you guys everything I'm just gonna do it so that you can see how I did it and that will be fast forwarded when I edit this video, okay?
the job is done guys now is the time to check my multimeter is on continuity mode the job is done job is done okay zero okay now we need to see if there is a short or if the connection are correct okay the blue one is the plus must go here you can see continuity is there the white and blue is negative should go look at my multimeter there is a beeping sound and zero zero so the wire is connected from the spare LED now is it going to the board that's that's what we need to find from this LED is plus to this LED is minus should go there must go somewhere Here. Sorry, there it is coming from there to here. Okay, now I'm going to use that LED. I test that off like lead light testers okay Look at it guys, it's 18.9 volt on the meter or 19 volt and the LED that was not working, it's on. And I will show you guys on the bigger frame, let me remove the microscope. It's the whole picture, I think. Right, guys. Let me remove this items. Let's power it on. Minus. Look at them. All of them one two three four five six seven all the LEDs are working now before I put everything back together one more things I need to check that's the main examination if I am right or if I am wrong We'll find out just now. I'm 
hold on a moment. Okay, guys, I put the board, connected the board with the backlit. Let's check the voltage there before I power the TV on. 25.65 volt. Now let's use the power button or standby button and let's see what happens. Voila! <laughs> Okay, as you guys can see, all the LED are working and the TV's back leads or back lights, all of them, as soon as I power on the TV, the back leads is working. Okay, every single one, even under this box, all those LED is also working. So I'm going to switch this TV now off and i'm going to put back everything together and let's see if i can show you guys that if this tv works or not okay i will switch the tv off now and pause the video while i i'm not going to record assembling this tv okay guys i'm done this is ready I did put everything back it took me about 40 minutes plus or an hour I think um, let's plug it in on power and then let's see if this is good or not good okay Our light is on. Can you guys see? Yeah, there is the power light is on. Let's let me put it on. We have picture. Yes. TV is working, backlight is back, I don't know sound or other stuff, I will have a look at it later, but the job is done, I am happy that I helped the customer, uh, yeah. it's the cheapest way to fix backlight problem if your backlights are blown i'm going to end this video it's already nearly one o'clock at night midnight or after midnight uh, uh what can i say what else oh oh yeah please like and subscribe my channel and like this video and share my channel's info to your friends and family and i'll see you in the next one Okay, goodbye.